Ever had that moment? You know the one. 12 tabs open, 3 searches deep, still can't find exactly what you're looking for. And you're thinking, how's this even possible? Because the web, as it stands, is built for humans. It's written for our eyes, not machines. Websites? They're just strings of letters. Gorgeous, yes, but utterly meaningless. To software, at least. Ever wondered why Siri still gets confused? Or why Alexa politely tells you she's not sure? They're drowning in a sea of words without meaning. And frankly, it's exhausting. But rewind with me. 1999. Y2K panic, slow dial-up modems, and one man named Tim Berners-Lee thinking, Cute web pages, folks, but my robots are totally blind. He scribbles RDF on a napkin. Boom! Birth of machine-readable meaning. Here's how that meaning works. Every fact becomes a neat little triple. Subject, predicate, object. You love semantic technologies. You subscribe to the semantic owl. Instant clarity. String these triples together and guess what you get? A graph. Not just any graph, but a supercharged web of meaning. Machines can navigate effortlessly. But wait, what if everyone does their own thing, you ask? Imagine a thousand languages no one else speaks. Nightmare scenario. One chef says aubergine, another says eggplant, same veggie, semantic salad explosion. Enter ontologies. Fancy word, simple concept. Think of them as shared dictionaries, common vocabularies everyone agrees on. Now your birthplace matches my birthplace. No more lost in translation chaos. Data clicks together beautifully. But how do we make sure this works? We name things with URIs, globally unique names. Clicking one gives you useful data, linked to even more stuff. Imagine you're in Paris. You ask, which impressionist paintings can I see within five kilometers of the Eiffel Tower? No Googling museum after museum, no endless tabs, just one beautiful question, one perfect answer. That's semantic web magic. And how do you speak to this web of meaning? Sparkle. Think SQL but built for graphs. Instead of interrogating one lonely database, you query the entire interconnected web in real time, effortlessly surfing a tsunami of linked meaning. Who's already winning? And who could be next? Pharma companies, linking genes directly to clinical trials, finding cures faster. Banks, spotting fraud before your coffee cools. Governments, integrating policy and impact data. And Wikidata, Wikipedia's brainy cousin, a billion triples of crowdsourced fact juice right at your fingertips. Less time integrating data, more time actually using it. Faster insights, smarter decisions, everybody wins. But let's speed things up and talk moving parts. First up, RDFS. Think of it as your graph's personal trainer, keeping data in shape, making everything fit perfectly. You're a person, stand here. Artwork, over there. Clean structure, zero sweat. Owl, pronounced like the bird, it's logic on steroids. Want rules? Owl's got them. Every student is a person. Check. Nothing can be cat and dog simultaneously. Understood. Owl turns maybe into definitely, instantly. Remember the aubergine eggplant drama? Scoes to the rescue, a translator fluent in every dialect imaginable. Car, auto, vehicle, scoes whispers, relax, same thing. Semantic harmony, restored. Last, shackle, your quality control hero, keeping bad triples out, good triples in. No birth date, access denied, org missing address, not on my watch. Reliable data every single time. These four tools keep your semantic web sharp, clean, meaningful, from structure, logic, vocabulary, to trust. The dream team ensuring the data makes sense, not just to you, but every machine out there.